What is going on you guys? It's Metal Forever here and today I am bringing you the setup video that I promised from my last video. I'll show you guys what I use to play with, what I use to record, and all of the ins and outs of what I use to play. So I'll go ahead and start with what everyone is probably interested in the most and that is going to be the tower of the computer. I recently got this for Christmas, I talked about it in my last video. It's a Dell XPS 8500. Uh, you can go on their website and customize everything out from your motherboard to your processor to your memory. So that's what I did. I will put all the specs and everything in the description. So if you're a tech savvy person and are interested in what I got, you can look in the description. Maybe give me some more advice if I ever get a computer again. Or help other people out. You know, be, be a nice guy. Um, next here is my monitor. It's a 23 inch LED HD monitor. Uh, it's really thin. I find that really cool. I'm easily amused. Uh, webcam there. It's really nice. Uh, I got a basic keyboard and mouse combination from Logitech. Um, they're really good. I guess they're a computer accessory company. And I feel like their products are really well. They did the speakers as well. And the speakers are phenomenal. I'm a big music listening person. Uh, I'm a big heavy metal fan. That's where my name comes from in case you're interested. Metal Forever. There you go. Um, next I'm going to talk about what I use to record with. And that is the Elgato, Ge Elgato Game Capture HD. Uh, really nice. I got it, I'd say, in about October, uh, whenever I was back playing with TOA and everything. Um, it's really nice. I've heard about PVRs and everything. I've never had one. This is the first thing I've ever had. And it is really good. Um, that's how many cables you have. You have three cables, one that runs from your TV into it, and then runs an HDMI cable out of it into your computer, and then you also have a USB that goes into your Xbox. So, it's really nice, I really enjoy it, very good. Um, this is the Xbox that I originally got um, about two years ago. I don't know what model it is or anything, because um, I'm not really that much into it. It's a nice Xbox, does well for me, I don't know what brand it is or how many memories in it or anything like that. So I won't be able, be able to tell you guys about that. Next here's a, a TV that I play on. It's a 32 inch Emerson. I got it with my Xbox uh, last year after Christmas. Um, here are all the games that I play. No, I don't play Fable anymore. I got it with, it came with the Xbox and I tried playing it but all my friends said, oh you have to play one and two to get three. And I totally understand where they're coming from because I have no idea what the fuck is going on in that game. You just run around and talk to people as far as I know. It wasn't really that fun for me. But if you enjoy it, to each its own. Um, next I have Madden there. I don't know why I bought that, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, I'm a big football fan, but I don't really play Madden that much. Uh, next there is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. That's the first COD that I ever played, in case you were asking. Uh, PS2, before I got an Xbox, that's what I had. So, just got the Xbox, got Modern Warfare 3, and I was a Christmas noob. At one point in time last year, when I was 18 years old, I was a Christmas noob. Next there I have Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Really enjoy it. I do have the original Black Ops downloaded onto my Xbox. But I don't really play it that much. I played it a few times, and I just dropped the camera. Holy. <laughs> enjoy that one there. Um, I also have Grand Theft Auto 4. Really fun. Really nice to play. It's just, none of my friends really have it. I mean, Zeus has it, and No Mercy None has it. But that's really the only people. Maybe Romano has it. But we're going to start playing that some more too because, I don't know about them, but Black Ops 2 is my favorite COD. I still really enjoy Modern Warfare 3. I think I think it was more balanced as, as much as like the ACR. I'm not going to really get into that. But I, I really enjoy the shotguns more in Modern Warfare 3 than I do Black Ops 2. And the, I feel like the lag compensation was way better in Modern Warfare 3. But that's all I'm going to talk about for that. Um, here is my custom controller. Got it from customcontrollers.com. They did a really nice job on it. It's white and black. Uh, barbed wire with black buttons, white thumbsticks, white bumpers, and black triggers. It is modded, so if I press a button back here, a uh, light will start flashing. As fast as that light is flashing, that's how fast the trigger is being pulled. So I used it more in Modern Warfare 3 just to piss people off and get death reactions. Because uh, you can't really use it in Black Ops 2. They did a really nice job kind of blocking mods. But now they changed it to where you can just turn on full auto. So I don't know if they really fixed the problem. Next here is my headset. I just recently got these. They're Turtle Beaches. I think it says XL1 there. Not really too sure what that means or what brand they are. All I know is that I can hear the game. 
Um, what have I not talked about yet? I think I talked about the blue snowball. If not, there it is. Pop filter, stand. It was a kit for 100 bucks on Amazon. Um, if you're a college student and hate carrying around books, I just recently got this. It's an Amazon Kindle Fire. Um, Amazon is the cheapest place to get books as far as I know. So I got a Kindle Fire and this semester I'm just going to download all my, all my textbooks onto it. That way I don't have to walk around with textbooks, I can just use that. So I'm going to try that out this semester whenever I go back. Uh, there's a college I go to, Frostburg State University. It is in Western Maryland. Not like D.C. and Baltimore area, but like up near Pennsylvania and West Virginia and Virginia. Um, that's where I'm from. I'm from the boonies. Um, not really from downstate or near the city much. But it, this college is basically my backyard. I have like a 20 minute drive. I still live at home with my parents. And if you can do that, I highly recommend it because I feel like it's way better to spend $600 a year on gas than $4,000 on room and board. Um, so I talked about that. And I talked about everything, I think. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the description below, and I will get to them. I will answer anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more videos coming out here shortly, and I will talk to you all later. Peace.